YouTube, hello and welcome back to my channel. It is peak week number four and potentially my last one of the season. I'm sad but it is getting colder and colder and it's not fun being this clean in the winter so I'm I'm getting ready, getting ready to spend the off season. If it was still warmer I'd probably go and go and go but We've had a great season so far. Three second places, not quite got that gold medal yet, but it will come one day. We just gotta be patient for it. And you can never help who turns up on the day. So I am running a couple of lower days after I competed on Sunday, had a few treats, nothing crazy. Some Reese's pieces that I'd used for my pump up and then also some popcorn in the evening and some steak. So my weight was up a little bit. So I'm running a couple of low days just to sort of tighten back up again before we then carb up. So I'm on quite low food. Yesterday was probably the lowest day I've ever done. But I didn't, I felt fine because I was still full of carbs from the last peak week. And then today I am just about to eat my second meal, which is cod for a change. Easy to digest, not much fat in there as well. I've got quite low fats and just fancy to change, really. Fish is normally fine to digest, never have any issues with fish. So all good there. Loving the mushrooms at the moment. I've been air frying them with some garlic on and they're unbelievable. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go to Arnold's Gym on the Wirral, which I've not been to in ages because Kobe is having a little holiday with my parents for the week, which is quite handy. It just means I don't have to worry about driving backwards and forwards to come and get him. And then also gonna be away at the weekend, so having him for the full week. So I'm gonna go drop him off at my parents and then go and train back and biceps and a bit of arms and some abs, cardio to do, and then we're tapering that down as per usual. So yeah, I'll take you along for that workout. It's gonna be fun. Still got the tan on from last weekend, so I always feel good in the gym. Although it is very cold, I don't even know if I'll be delayering because it's freezing. Yes, gotta go get steps in. I'm gonna go eat this now. Then I'm gonna crack on with my day. Right, we are on the way to the gym. Hello, Kirby boy. sunny day. I've just had meal three, which was my pre-workout meal, so a little bit of carbs in there. I uh, had 30 grams of cream of rice, a little banana, some berries, 10 grams of peanut butter, and protein powder. Like half a scoop of protein powder with some egg whites, which I've been doing, which actually makes it, because I have vegan protein, it just kind of makes it a little bit cakier. So definitely recommend that because sometimes vegan proteins don't really mix very well and I'm not vegan, I just can't eat dairy. My weight was up to 62.8 on Monday and then I literally was like, right, not after this. I want to get a new low weigh in before NFM UK. I want to come in my most conditioned this season. So. I did quite a lot of cardio yesterday, like a lot, and like 15,000 steps. Made sure my workout was quite like continuously moving just to try and drop the water weight and to tighten back up again because I didn't do a check-in. I did. I just looked in the mirror and I could feel, you can feel the water underneath your skin when you've had more sodium, you've had more carbs, but that's perfectly normal. So if you like panic, after you've had um, you know, post-show treats, meal out, cheat meals, anything like that, and you're, you get on the scales the next day and you're like, oh my God, how am I up this amount of weight? And don't need to panic because that is literally just water weight and it will drop off. You've not put that amount of fat on, it's not physically possible. Yeah, that's dropped back down. I did a check-in just then and I'm very, very happy because I'm still looking quite full obviously the weekend I had two days of 250 grams of carbs, three days of 300 grams of carbs last week and then probably even more than that on Sunday because I had extra food so I had plenty of food last week filled out fully so a couple of really low days is not going to be too damaging at this point obviously I've done 
lots of peak weeks as well. I like my food has been the lowest it's probably been all prep yesterday and today is probably the same. Probably it was less than 1,100 calories yesterday. I had about 80 grams of carbs, like not no fat free much. Definitely did the trick and already looking way better. Dropped a kilogram from Monday to Tuesday. And I suspect over the next few days I will get a new low weigh-in, but also be nice and full. So fingers crossed we come in the best condition we ever have. I'm gonna make my pre-workout shake of my thank pump for that from DNA. The only pre-workout I will ever have. <laughs> and then crack on with me back biceps and abs little peak week pump workout. Let's stop. It's not going to be heavy lifting yet guys, unfortunately. I am very much looking forward to getting back to heavy lifting. That is one thing about show days that, and peak weeks that I do not like. You can't train hard. And that's not fun for anyone, so... Gains to be made, people! Come next week. I did a silly. I forgot that prep brain is still a thing. I ran out of creatine a couple of days ago and I always normally get it from DNA but wasn't enough time for me to put an order in so I just was like oh, I'll just go pick some up from the shop literally just said I will never have another pre-workout other than DNA and I've been reminded why so I I've got creatine from these guys warrior before I, DNA used to do it and I didn't check and I got the pre-workout instead of the creatine it's got creatine in it so I was like oh I'll just have to have some of this because I want to keep it in it's been in throughout the whole of prep so I need to keep it in it keeps with muscle fullness and it tastes like absolute cack <sighs> I have also mixed it with this probably didn't help this thank pump which is like orange soda flavor orange sunset sunset soda flavors it's like orange with blue raspberry and it tastes like I've just done my teeth and then drank orange juice. Oh. Gotta get it down the hatch though. Oh, but yeah. Right. Let's do this. I've not been to Arnold's in ages, but it's one of my favourite gyms. It's a Panata showroom, so all the equipment in there is Panata. I'm really gonna have to tell myself off, try not to go too hard and heavy. Okay? Just get a good pump. I can't give it up Anything just to feel the rush This just ain't enough
it is Thursday the 18th of October and I had a new low weigh-in of prep this morning 51 bang on crazy like this is crazy I'm basically now lighter than I ever was my last prep by I think it was 0.7 pounds so bonkers crazy 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 obviously feeling quite tired after two pretty low days with quite a bit of cardio and steps but I'm happy with that result I definitely thought I was gonna get a drop and I wanted a new low in but I did not think I would be getting it by today so happy days so now we've got today Thursday Friday Saturday so three more days before show day I'm still planning on walking carbs up gradually for the rest of the week but I'm not gonna go anywhere near as high as I have done for the previous couple of shows I want to come in the most conditioned I have ever been and I know that NFM UK prefer they kind of they love that condition so I can definitely come in leaner than I would do for two rows and NPC they tend to prefer more your overall shape than wanting you to be absolutely healed so different approach this week again learning lots I'm gonna do some posing at Prophecy today and a little tiny shoulder pump barely any barely like actually training and then just like 30 minutes of cardio with about 15,000 steps so my legs I went probably heavier than I should have done on Monday on legs my hammies are a bit sore and I want to reduce the inflammation I was going to rest today and then do glutes and delts tomorrow but I'm just going to do a very small pump session today for delts very small session for glutes tomorrow no form of hammies in there at all I'm literally going to do like cable kickbacks and abductors that's probably about it so just trying to get now well rested for the weekend I'm going to re-dye my hair as well just always grows so quickly so get that fresh teeth whitening as always and then all the shaving and stuff begins I think my tan has maintained okay so far I think a couple of little bits like not quite staying on properly I'm gonna have to be quite careful the next few days because I don't want it to go flaky and then the next few coats go gross but yeah feeling good feeling quite tired but I think because I'm in my head I know it's like coming up to my last show I don't mind it like I felt hungry yesterday and I actually enjoyed it which was weird <laughs> because I've literally not felt hungry the past few weeks because my carbs have been so high, my training hasn't been crazy, I've been doing crazy months of cardio except for a couple of days. So yeah, I felt like I wasn't even on prep. Like it's weird, you associate being lean with being hungry, so then I'm like, I am actually the leanest I've ever been, but because I wasn't hungry, I was like, I'm not actually lean though. In my head I was like, I'm not actually lean. I'm like, my forehead vein is down to here now, like I am lean. <laughs> I had a little look in the mirror before and I'm tensing my glutes and you can see the individual muscle fibers, which is crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna have quite a busy day today with a few PT clients, fitting things in in between, um, but then tomorrow and Friday's not as busy. Yeah, that's a little update for you. Good morning, it is Friday the 20th of October, six o'clock, I've been awake since four. My weight, I got a low weigh in yesterday of 50.5 kilograms. What? Oh my lord. What the hell? It was slightly higher today, 50.9. I did have a bit more carbs, so I had 200 grams of carbs yesterday. I'm having about 260 grams today. So I'm not carbing up anywhere near as much as I have done my previous couple of shows, but very happy with how I'm looking currently. Getting all the feels for Sunday. I'm now two days out. So yeah, the most, most carbs going in today and tomorrow. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna try having a bit less food on actual show day, just to try and keep my waist as small as possible and just to tighten up from the two days of higher carbs before. And hopefully all things go to plan. Could be my last show of the season. And I'm like, I've been doing a lot of thinking this week, sort of planning forwards for off season. 
what I'm going to be doing is taking a shorter off season and I want to compete again early shows next year so I'm very excited for that I think it's going to be very different package that I bring even though it's not that long of a time to sort of be in off season and grow muscle tissue but I started dieting pretty much like a year ago. I did a mini cut and then I maintained for a few months and then I started prep properly in like April, May. So been a long time dieting, obviously low calories, low high cardio the past few weeks as well. So it does take a toll on your body. Gonna reverse well and bring in some more fullness, stay within a couple of kg above my stage weight. And then my next prep will be much shorter. I'll be able to diet on much higher food. I won't have as much to get off. And I think I'm gonna be bringing a very different and improved look. The only way I think I will do another show is if I won somehow <laughs> this Sunday. It's a, my pro debut, so I'm not expecting to win at all. Obviously this is gonna be a much higher caliber of athlete that I've ever competed against because everyone else has won their pro card too. So best of the best, cream of the crop. And of course, Kelsey is competing as well. And she has been champion of the last show and then another show, she's also just smashed it. So if I somehow beat her or place higher than her, oh, I've, it's, it, it, it would, yeah, I don't know how to even explain how that would happen, but if it did, I will cry. I will blubber my eyes out. If I if I come first, I will be a mess on stage. <laughs> but anyway, we got we got to think positively and manifest and try and do the best that we can and bring the best package that I ever have. So that's all that matters. If I'm beating every single previous look, it doesn't matter where I place. I have won already. Today I've got a few clients this morning, a couple of meetings. Then I'm gonna do a full body pump today. I had a rest day yesterday, it was very much needed. Had a big nap. Definitely could tell that I've got leaner this week because I feel like I'm in prep again. But it's quite nice because it's, it's gonna be my last, last week of probably feeling like this. I've planned out my reverse diet for next week. I'm gonna be reprogramming my workouts for off season. Got some exciting things, news in relation to work. I have had a chat yesterday with a, another PT studio in Liverpool where I'm going to be helping them out by doing some of their classes. It's a female only gym. It's called Power, Pow, as in Pow, Power, but P-O-W-H-E-R, like for her, <laughs> gym. And I met the girls yesterday, lovely, lovely people. I'm still going to be PTing at unit seven, but I just kind of wanted to expand a bit and network, meet some other people. And I do miss teaching classes as well. It's always fun to do that sort of thing. So I reached out to them just to see if they wanted any help with anything. And then, yeah, I'm gonna be starting up there probably within the next few weeks. And then just focusing on business for the next few months, trying to build some more clients, make some more money so I can carry on competing. But got lots of things to look forward to. I've just been editing the vlog from the Two Bros Regional Show Day and probably one of my favourite vlogs I've ever done. It's just full of full of feels and it's, it's I love that I have done this and even obviously doing it for other people but doing it for myself to be able to look back on in years to come. If you don't like record what you're doing on show day, unless you just forget straight away because it's, it's all over in a flash, there's loads of adrenaline running and uh, you just, you know, go from being stressed, chilled and there's loads of, loads of emotions on show day. So I definitely encourage anyone, even if you're not gonna, you know, put it out to the public to record your experiences when you're on prep to be able to look back on. It's just amazing to be able to look back and reflect at how well you've done and what you've actually achieved and to take some time to appreciate all the hard work that you've put in. I'm gonna show you my meals today. I didn't get to do a check-in at um, Prophecy the other day because I typically forgot my heels, even though I put them right by the door. So I'm gonna do one of those today when I go in there and train to see how we're looking. Let's get meal one on the go, because I'm hungry. 
meal numero uno, we have got 40 grams of oats. I'm then gonna put an egg in, or pear there. And that's pretty much the only protein I've got in this meal. So lower protein today, higher carbs. Fat is about 30 grams. And then also weighed out my salt for the day. I do this every day, making sure sodium intake is the same. Just to make sure that variable is one. We can control, and then I'm gonna do banana. This is a great way to cook banana, by the way. And uh, some blueberries with, of course, a load of cinnamon, because I can't get enough of that. And voila, get it in my belly. Delicious now. Meal number two, we've got turkey steak with rice. And meal number three, we've got cod and rice. Very exciting. And I'm gonna throw some asparagus in there and in the air fryer. Absolutely love them, done like this. Not the most exciting carb up in the world, but gotta get in the things that you need to get in. Keep it easy to digest. No gluten, no dairy, none of that sort of thing. Just clean whole foods, I know digest well.